No, it's honestly, it's uh, really funny, actually. So uh, the new White House press secretary, Jan Psaki, 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 Jen Psaki, Psaki, yeah, Jen. Psaki. Uh, the new White House press secretary, she just has not been uh, having a very good two weeks. Um, she, <laughs> uh, I don't know if you guys saw the clip, but there has been a very funny video circulating around the internet that's showing uh, her claims to circle back with reporters and then not actually doing it. Um, so she just. Uh, she seems to be having a bit of trouble with the job. And uh, we actually ran a story on this earlier today. Um, according to a report by the Daily Beast, um, they said that they had a few reporters in on an unofficial um, kind of informal Zoom call. Uh, and they were discussing how supposedly the White House um, communications staff has approached reporters uh, fall or before news briefings and asked them what kinds of questions they are going to bring, asked them what kinds of questions they're going to ask her. And, uh, you know, this could very well just be that the White House is trying to help her out a little bit because, you know, she doesn't seem to know how to answer a lot of the questions. <laughs> but, I you mean, know, she'll circle back to them. She will. Yeah, eventually, one day. But it's it's also kind of concerning because you you're like, wait a second, this do this doesn't really sound like freedom of the press to me. So and that's what the reporters were discussing, which is interesting since a lot of the reporters in there are from very leftist media outlets. Yep. So I just wanted to kind of raise the question to you guys. Do we think that the establishment media is finally kind of getting a taste of their own medicine and is finally kind of waking up to the fact that, oh, like she she's not doing too great like they need to actually start answering some real questions i don't think the establishment the, the establishment media is really learning all that much if i'm gonna be brutally honest mm -hmm. uh, it because i just look at the way this story has happened versus imagine if kaylee mcnanny ever decided to screen yeah mm -hmm. pre or circle back or even pre-screen Oh, I can't speak. can you yeah. imagine? Yeah, can if you Magnani imagine? wanted to pre-screen uh, questions from reporters, can you imagine the kind of wall-to-wall, -wall, you know, oh, yeah. CNN, MSNBC, mm -hmm. like, the, yeah, the kind of yeah. coverage that would get, as opposed to this, where a couple of reporters are raising a stink, but that's about it. Um, so, no, I don't think they're really kind of learning a lesson here or anything. This is just, they're, they're a little miffed. They're going to get over it because they want to get over it. Mm -hmm. Um so yeah, that I, I just I feel like the establishment media is we know who they are at this point. It's clear as night and day, um, you know, and it's kind of sad. Mm. First off, Democrats in office, Democrats trying to get into office, they are used to that kind of treatment. Remember, mm. Donna Brazil gave Hillary Clinton <laughs> yep. the list Great of questions, questions ahead yes. of time. Yeah. They're used to this. Mm. This is normal treatment. Uh, you are 100% right, Brian. I mean, the, it would be the end of the world mm. if Kaylee McEnany or Sarah, uh, Sarah Huckabee had asked for questions ahead, questions of, time. ahead of time. Yeah. Uh, I, I do think it's the case she's saying she'll circle back because she doesn't have anything meaningful to say. I can't, gosh, I wish I could remember who I was reading earlier today. Uh, but the writer made the point that really Biden's MO right now needs to be just to stay completely low, do, mm. do almost nothing to shake the boat, to yeah. rock the boat. Eventually the virus is going to be under control. We know the vaccines are being distributed. He just needs to stay kind of underground like he did during his campaign and mm -hmm. everything will eventually be fine. I do wonder if the press got used to, to without realizing it got used to Trump giving them so much grist. I mean, he talked mm -hmm. to them nonstop. They hated everything he said, but he talked to them nonstop. Yeah. And so they had just no shortage of stuff to write about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, with Biden not doing much of anything other than executive orders. Right. <laughs> uh, you know, what do you what do you say? They've still got, and maybe this is maybe they are beginning to feel the pinch. We all know mm -hmm. the New York Times was in. Uh, was not in good shape before Trump came on the scene. Right. Trump is the one who basically single-handedly saved the New York Times, yeah. according to many people. Maybe now they're beginning to realize, oh gosh, you know, we're not going to attack him. What do we have to write about? Mm -hmm. I mean, that was always going to be the case. I mean, CNN's ratings, I don't have the exact number off the top of my head, but I remember looking at it and literally from the moment Biden was sworn in, their ratings yeah. have started to go down. Like that's, yeah, yeah like... What do you when you made your, yeah when you made your living the last four years just bashing Trump? 
What happens when you can't bash him? But let's not forget, my favorite thing about Jen so far is using that gesture. <laughs> Does this she gesture, not know? That's a symbol. This gesture, if you don't know, this gesture usually means A-OK, -okay, or it can mean three-pointer. Uh, it is a rude gesture in some cultures. I can't remember. I remember reading up on this. There are a couple countries where you're actually not supposed to do this. It's a, it's a rude, crude gesture. Mm -hmm. But Jen has been seen doing this. And for the last four years, we've been told this is an incredibly racist dog whistle. How dare she? This is right. This is okay. signaling you hate minorities. You are part. Did it signal that you're actually part of a conspiracy? I can't remember. Maybe. It was some absolutely ridiculous, ridiculous astroturf thing to try to attack <laughs> conservatives and paint them as, paint them as racist. Yeah. Uh, but it turns out, people in the Biden White House do it too because it doesn't mean anything. It means mm -hmm. nothing. It means nothing.